Hello everyone, welcome back to another achievement guide. We haven't done these in a while, so I thought let's give something to all you achievement hunters out there. Today we are going to look at Kowtow. Kowtow is the ancient Chinese practice to show respect, well more like subservience where you kneel down and touch your forehead to the ground. For the Kowtow achievement in game, we need to play as Ming and we need to have a subject from each religion group. Now you might wonder what a religion group is. If you look at the EU4 wiki, it's not super clear, but basically the achievement wants us to have a subject from each of these five religion groups. Important thing to note here is that tributaries count as subjects too, which makes this achievement really easy. And actually, you can consider this as an achievement speedrun because we are going to do it super fast. Obviously, you can play the long game and get tributaries later in game and complete the achievement that way, but there is a better and quicker way to couch out the religion groups if you are just hunting for this achievement. If you look at the achievements at the start of game, it says we already have 5 out of 6 of those religion groups, which is great. We have Malacca in the Muslim group, we have couple of Hindu nations as tributaries which are in the Dharmic group, we have a few Buddhist nations and a Confucian nation which are the Eastern group, and we have couple of Tengri nations as tributaries as well, which are in the Pagan religion group. So now all we need is a subject in the Christian religion group. But at the start, we actually don't see any Christian country. So we are going to find us a nice Christian country and make them kowtow to us. At the start of the game, set Ashikaga's rivals and insult them. This is to increase the power projection slightly, which will increase the prestige. It doesn't make a huge difference, but we need some prestige going for this strategy. Our navy starts with 22 transports, so we will get an RB stack of 22 in boats. You can leave the 6 light ships behind and just take the galleys and transports. Also get a general for your army. Then set your transports with the army off to the coast of Mikalaf, which is the farthest Muslim country we can see. While the transports are en route, we will get all the tributaries we can. Yes, even the step nomad tribes, which you shouldn't do while playing a normal Ming game, but since we are just going for the achievement, we will take as many tributaries as possible. And after that, we just wait for the army to arrive to the destination. You can also get some advisors in the meantime. Getting a stability cost modifier guy is nice, or just national unrest advisor is good too. For Diplo, try to get an improved relations guy or a Diplo rep guy, if possible. I didn't have either of those unfortunately. And for military, any advisor is fine. Once the navy arrives in the coast of Mikolov, we will declare on them using the best CB. In my game, they did not have any allies. More commonly though, they will have a minor ally somewhere, which isn't a problem at all. And very rarely, they might ally a slightly bigger nation, in which case, I recommend that you start the game. I mean, you can take over anyone, you are Ming at the start, but it's going to take a longer time. And I tested it out by restarting a few times, and out of 10 times, I restarted only once did Mikolov allied Kara. Which again, isn't a problem and you will still win the war. It'll just take a little longer. Luckily, in my game, they had no allies, so this was going to be a very quick war. Since we no CB them, we now have 2 war exhaustion and minus 2 stability. We can buy down the war exhaustion, but we don't have enough admin points to stab up. So we will go to the Shizu estate or the clergy and we will do some interactions and get 150 admin points from them. Then we will stab up to zero again, unload the troops in their capital and wait for the siege to complete. Here you can use the barrage feature to make the siege a bit quicker and then send the ships to the nearest province which is our tributary Malacca. We will lose some ships to attrition though because we are so far away from our supply range but that's fine, it really doesn't matter. Now we just sit and wait for the siege to be over. And at the end of it, we will make Mikolov our tributary. Make sure here that you don't vassalize them, because there's a weird mechanic in game where you cannot request maps from your vassals, while you can't request maps from tributaries, which is really weird and in my opinion it's a bug and I hope it gets fixed sometime soon. But in the current 1.28.3 patch, you need to make them a tributary so you can request maps from them. Next step is to improve relations with our new tributary. Do everything you can to make them happy. Improve relations, use your great power to influence nation and send gifts. It won't cost much. 
and then it's just time to play at speed 5 and wait till Mikhailov has positive opinion because we cannot request maps if they don't like us. I also like to raise autonomy in provinces with unrest in the country because I don't want to deal with any rebels. Also once the navy is repaired bring them to Mikhailov, we'll need them for the next step. By the way, if you get any events, choose the option that gives you more prestige. We need prestige to request maps as we cannot request maps if we have negative prestige. And just in case you get a terrible event or something and your prestige goes negative, you can always go to the subject interactions and demand artifacts from your tributaries, which will give you plus 5 prestige. So finally, after a few years, Mikhailov won't be mad at you and then we will be able to request maps from them. And the maps we want from them are of Horn of Africa. And once you see the Horn of Africa, you see the Coptic nations, which are Christian nations, which is exactly who we need to force to kowtow to us. And luckily, one of the Coptic nations, Medribari, is at the coast and we can attack them too. They might have allies, but it's very very unlikely that they will have a powerful ally. In my game, they were allied to Ethiopia, which is basically the most powerful ally you can expect them to have. So it was time to use the best CV this time on Medri Bari. And we will again gain war exhaustion and lose stability. You can save some admin points to stab up, unlike me. I use them to take the admin tech instead, but it really does not matter what you do. The game just won't last long enough to make a difference. Just ferry your armies across and siege down everything. In my game I siege down Medribari, then I started sieging Ethiopia to piece them out. And finally in 1456, I made Medribari my tributary. And now if you look at the achievements, we have subjects in all 5 religion groups. And that's the achievement done in just 12 years. As you can see this achievement is super easy and also super fast. The whole thing actually took me about 15 minutes to complete. Which is not bad if you just want to get another achievement checked off the list. I quite enjoy doing these quick achievement guides. So let me know if you guys want me to cover any other particular achievements. Or if you have a different strategy for the Kowtow achievement. Well I hope this guide helps all you achievement hunters who don't already have this one yet. You were watching a very quick radio res guide. Thanks for your time and I'll see you all in the next one.